Hey everybody, and welcome back to Minecraft. Um, hope you're all doing very well. I'm doing good. Uh, apologies, this wasn't up on Monday. Um, I've just had a busy weekend, and uh, I didn't get round to recording any Minecraft um, ready for Monday. So I'm doing this now on the Tuesday. So at least I guess it's pretty fresh, uh, pretty fresh content for you all, if you like. Um, so I hope you guys are all doing very well. Um, it's it's crazy to think that, at least you know here in the UK, we're still currently under uh, lockdown. Um, we're gonna need more chests, aren't we? Um, but we are, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's the thing. But um, you know, hopefully, it's. Uh, Coming towards an end, you know, I'm recording this on June the 2nd, and in the UK at least, it's, um, well, that's all eggs I can carry right now, um, beginning to open up a little bit, whether that's a good thing or not, is, you know, you can uh, decide that for yourselves, um, but it is beginning to open up a little bit, and that's kind of nice, I guess, but from a personal point of view, and, and my job, you know, which is uh, running a cinema, it's, uh, not um, not going to happen for probably a month and a half at best, um, you know, six weeks or so. So anything can happen in that time, you know, not uh, <laughs> counting my chickens. Uh, that was a pun, uh, intentional. Whoops. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, hopefully as we go through um, things start to return to some semblance of normal whatever that is going to be I don't know the new normal as they say I still got 16 eggs on me there so I just blitz all these eggs I might just do that let's let's go egg smashing sod it Right. Chickens, beware! I don't think eggs actually do any damage. I think they're just like snowballs, you know, they just knock someone back. I hope not anyway. <laughs> I don't want to be murdering my own chickens with the eggs they produce. That's rather carb, isn't it? Um, on there. Um, in other news, I uh, got my new passport today, which was exciting and long overdue. Um, took about, uh, I think I applied for it like maybe the second week of lockdown. So I think it's taken about five weeks to get that passport which is um, longer than normal, but understandably so, I guess. Um, and uh, it was quite interesting when it came because for the first time in, I'm pretty sure my lifetime, yeah, definitely my lifetime, it was not the red passport the EU have. It was the very dark, almost black, uh, or very dark blue, almost black um, passport um, that, uh, that I guess the UK is now going for, <laughs> you know, whatever your opinion is on that is, uh, you know, I don't think the colour of the passport really matters, uh, but it, it looks smart, I, I won't deny it doesn't look smart, but it should do, because it costs like £100, and uh, I think that's always very outrageous how much it costs to get a new passport, I had to get the whole shebang, so uh, my last one had expired by about 10 years the photo I had of it I think they'd last for 10 years as well so it's probably about 20 years old which makes about sense I got it when I was about 18 I think 16 to 18 um, it uh, oh my god did they just all freeze for a moment there it was like a flash mob um, that was crazy uh, 
and uh, yeah, yeah, me when I was like 16 it was not a good look and also obviously looks nothing like I do now so um, I had to get a new one it uh, I'm sure there's some way to automate this I don't know what that is though it probably is a lot of work more work than just chucking eggs at things how many I'm getting out of this I think maybe like on average about two per run maybe even just one to be fair it's nice to know I'm the largest egg farmer in the uh, Minecraft uh, <laughs> universe though oh shit hello <laughs> the guy, there's this guy here was it where is he uh, hang on. Let's invite him in. Hello, sir. Hi. I don't want to hit it, so I'll right click it. Where is he? Where did he go? Oh my god, I love llamas. I need to get some llamas. Where? I think he just randomly appeared and I don't know where he's gone. He, oh, he's invisible. He took a potion. Oh, okay. I mean, interesting. Uh, can we talk to him? Oh! So he'll give me sea pickle, fern, green dye, pumpkin seeds, bucket of puffer fish. Okay. I, I don't know what I would do with them, but I do like your llamas. They are incredibly cute. Um, so thank you, sir, for that. I'm going to put my fence back. There we go. Just, uh, oh, well, he's, he's probably going to get some eggs, isn't he? Uh, oh, I've got you now. Look, my llamas. <laughs> I've trapped you in my, in my things. Awesome. Uh, we could get some more wheat. I can't really be bothered right now. I think we're absolutely fine for wheat. I don't think there's too much of a problem. we just been eating watermelon as well. Oh, I will actually do the watermelons though. They won't take very long. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm really happy to get my passport through. Um, because I needed it to um, complete my mortgage application for my house. Alright, 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 chill. Um, so that's awesome that was getting a little bit held up because of the uh, extra weight um, but as I said understandable with what's going on um, my own fault for not having updated it in the past 10 years <laughs> scared the crap out of me as you can see <laughs> in the bushes oh my god I heard it so I don't know why I was surprised but I was Oh my goodness me. Oof. What happened to the neighbourhood, eh? Um, oh crap, yeah, we're coming back tomorrow. Llama farmer, you're on your own. We're coming back in the morning. Do, 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 do. Uh, we will be continuing with the, um, the other tower. Uh, just thought I'd, I'd go down there and we can chat for a bit and I can you know do some stuff it is looking nice um, I really hope that um, when the ray tracing update to Minecraft comes out that it well, first I hope it comes out soon because it's getting a little bit tiresome uh, yeah I need to do one more glowstone there at least I think I'll put the glowstone downstairs. Um, uh, yeah, I need to. Um, yeah, so when the RTX update comes out, as I'm saying, before I was rudely interrupted by myself, uh, I hope that it works on existing worlds and you don't have to start a new one because I would love to see how everything looks with the new shaders and the ray tracing and everything um, that I've built. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't work 
Oh, what's happened here? I think they died. Oh no! I've got some leads, which is not really that useful. Uh, shit, I don't know what I'm dropping now. And some leather. Oh no! The llama's died. Uh, I'll get some more eggs. Make sure we refill our egg supply. We don't want to, you know, possibly run out. That would be awful. Uh, I'm actually going to go around here, sort this stuff out first, then we'll do that. So I wanted to plant the uh, beetroot, which I've got two more berry bushes and carrot. I don't know why. Why did I only get two beetroot? Oh, because you have to put it in here, then you get the no. How do you get the seeds from the beetroot? Do you have to use a... The carrot you just plant, I'm pretty sure of that. Hang on, let's have a look. Pumpkin seeds, melon seeds. Can you not? Was that just it? Yeah, hmm, interesting. Pretty sure the carrot you just plant, don't you? Yeah. Hmm. You can only do these in rows of twos, can't you? Because otherwise you're going to sting yourself trying to get them. These would make really good uh, walls, wouldn't they? Yeah, I might do that. I might build up my walls using these, because then... Oh, it doesn't hurt you there when it's not grown, but... So beetroot... I guess... I don't know. I don't know about beetroot, actually. I'll have to look that up at some point. It's confusing me. Um, which isn't that difficult, I guess. Oh, no! You get the seeds as well as the beetroot. You numpty. Uh, oh god. <laughs> there we go. Didn't, but we don't get carrot seeds though. But if we do the carrot... No. So carrots are like one for one. Which seems outrageous, to be honest. Uh, stop it! Stupid bushes. Yeah, if I uh, build up a line of bushes here, <laughs> hopefully they'll sting themselves when they come through. That would be cool. Anyway, where were we? Talking about passports. Um, but yeah, ho hopefully I should be moved uh, into the new house we brought. Um, I'm hoping by the end of July. But it might be a little bit um, uh, presumptuous. Uh, although I guess it's beginning of June. That's eight weeks. I, I think we're being held up slightly by the people we're buying off of. Um, who um, had to... Or, or they hadn't heard anything from the people they're buying from, if that makes sense. So fingers crossed that all goes okay. Um... But uh, you never know. Like you, you know, till it's all done and dusted and you're moved in, you just shouldn't count your chickens um, at all. Uh, melon seeds, wheat seeds. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, we'll make it a little bit more bread. I guess. Um, eggs. I'll chuck them in there because I don't need them. Rotten flesh, sure. Whatever. 
bit more leather. Feathers. Do I have any feathers anywhere? If I was going to put them anywhere, it would be in this one. Okay, fine. We'll do that one. We'll put, put our dies away into that. Oh, God's sake. Take that back. Um, cool. Okay, so let's go outside and let's have a look at what we need to get done on the house today. Oop. Yeah, hopefully I'll be um, uh, actually uh, renovating my actual house rather than uh, just Minecraft houses. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, actually, I don't really need to renovate my house at all. It's actually it's pretty great as it is. It was quite nicely decorated by the people before. So we're not planning on actually painting anything for the time being. Um, we're just... Um, Gonna obviously move stuff in, you know. We do a bit in the garden, um, but a dark garden's pretty nice as it is, um, and that's it at the, the minute. And then we'll look as we live in it, I think. And my girlfriend wants to kind of live in it for a bit and then see how she feels and then start choosing colors and stuff. Obviously, I'll have my office all set up, which would be really nice. Um, and yeah, should be good. So the bridge i want to do something with so we're going to need some more nether quartz so i'll look how much i've got need a bit more glowstone as well to finish that off um then i also want to do another one across there we need to do the inside so that it um has like uh um be the word so it has another bridge going across to the enchanting section and then we can really concentrate um soon enough on actually which actually reminds me, I'll go see the cows and I'll go feed the cows. Uh, I've got enough wheat on me for that. Um, to really start concentrating on getting these books. Um, the arrows for the feathers, that's fine. Um, we'll do the sugar as well while we're over there. I mean, yeah, I can get a lot of... Uh, go. I do think this tunnel was pretty awesome to build. I'm going to get rid of that bench. I know it's going to mean that I'm... Oh no, I'll be fine. It just annoys me. There we go. Go. There we are. I do need a new sword at some point. This one is getting a little bit old. So I think what I need to do... Um, is obviously get the tower done. How the hell did you get up there? Well, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to get murdered, son. Thank you. Uh, so I guess my list of priorities, finish the tower off as best you can, uh, harvest the cows uh, for the books, get that enchanting room done and, and dusted so it's all like max. Um, arrows, uh, I think at some point as well we will do a really big exploration um, but uh, I'd like to get a little bit more kitted up with the enchanting and stuff like that before we do that but there are some things I want to go out there and see and you know discover some like underwater temples and you know that kind of stuff um, different biomes uh, on there um, oh shit <laughs> That's better. That's better. Um, the cows are getting a little bit crowded, aren't they? Have we got any? No. I guess we could make some, couldn't we? Should I make some fences for these guys? And uh, expand it out a little bit. They don't sound particularly happy. How is it getting dark again so soon? Is it just rain or no? It's actually getting dark again. Brilliant. Oh god, he fell down there. Oh, hi creeper. 
Uh, he'll come up here, won't he? He'll find me. He'll find me. Ooh. Thought he was going to blow. Uh, okay. We'll try and do a little bit of this, but I don't think that uh, we get done exactly what I want to get done right now because of the uh, fact that it's gone dark already. But actually, just going back to um, while I was talking about passports, um, I don't know how it is in other countries with them um, as well, but they're such a, like an elaborate document. Um, it almost feels a bit comical with them, really. Um, you know, you'd think that nowadays you you could just have a card or something like that and it would maybe have like a microchip or something, but they still feel very, I don't know, antiquated in a way. Um, I, I mean, I know people are obviously like paranoid about them and stuff like that, but you, I don't know, I, I feel like in modern times, we, um, well, I'm out, we'll go back and get some, uh, more, oh, where's my, my, oh yeah, there's my mic up. I can just leave it on there, can't I really? Thinking about it. I can't, I guess I can't this side. Because I need a, something to stop it, but. Yeah, they always feel very antiquated, and uh, it does make you wonder why you don't just have something like a stores the information on, on some sort of microchip or something like that on them. Because, you know, you pay. As I said, I don't know how much it is in other countries, but in this country it's like pretty much close to a hundred pounds uh, for a new passport you know with all the gubbins you know new photo everything like that they just you just think like that is just excessive <laughs> would be the word I would use as someone who doesn't travel abroad very much um, it it does feel extremely excessive <laughs> but you know nowadays the only you know if you want to get a um, job anywhere, you have to uh, you know, have right to work documentation, which is pretty much a passport or nothing. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there's a couple of other things you can use, but you know it's really very uh, quite strict um, on it. So you really have to have a passport nowadays, which I always feel like it maybe is a bit of a con in some ways, but. Maybe that's just the kind of conspiracy theory side of me that is uh, is in there. Um, where are we? We wanted some dirt. Oh, you only have 13. Wood-wise. Oh, okay, we do have quite a lot of wood here. Let's make some fencing while we're here. And we actually do have 35 fences already. And they're birch. We only have oak, so we probably want to make oak. I'll chop the acacia that I've got in there. Didn't get a lot, did I? Uh... And then, you know, we should have a crafting table down here, I think. It's about time. It won't hurt. Um, okay. So the sticks are... Um, we need... Lots more of these, because the sticks are, like, either side. And then... These are here, right? Oh, shit, I just made 32 gates. <sighs> Fantastic. Well, if we ever want a gate, we know where to come. <laughs> idiot. I am an idiot, really. It's like the bloody golden watermelons all over again, isn't it? What an idiot. Anyway, I'm sure we've all been there. We've all done it. Let's get rolling.
I mean, there's nothing to say you can't use gates as fences, to be fair. You just have a lot of entrance and exit points. this many. I guess there's still some room for uh, some room for expansion if we need to. Let's do some gates now here. Nope, not there. Look at the little car, sticking his head out. Cute. Let's put some more torches down as well around the edges. some torches, yes. There's lots of salmon down there. It's interesting. Stupid cat. <laughs> Not worried about the necessary accurate spacing here. Just uh, get some torches down so that we don't... Uh, that much spawning around here I guess. Here we go. Goodness me, there's a lot of cows. Okay, good. Might put some torches just around the edges as well. Sorry if you've been subjected to just mooing for the last like 10 minutes. Not uh, ideal. But cows will be cows. Should probably block this up. Well, that's as far as we can get. Obviously there will still be ones which spawn, but there's nothing much I can do about that, really. I'm not going to totally blanket the place with torches, but it seems, uh, I think, look at that, that looks pretty cool. It just give us a good, uh, good area there, and uh, Cal's got at least some space now to, to move in, because before it was pretty... Uh... Oh shit, I fell in. Oh my god, I'm getting trampled by cows. A lot of people die each year from being trampled by cows. There was a, a, a sad story, just, I think maybe yesterday or a couple of days ago, about uh, an old gentleman who uh, was uh, trampled by cows uh, in the field. It's a very underrated like, or underreported kind of thing, I feel. Like cows are actually pretty dangerous. Um, You know? Right. 
Okay, that'll do for now. Uh, let's head back. So, we're going to have a look for how much quartz we've got. I feel like we need to do the two, the other bridge in quartz down the bottom as well and, and have it as... Um, Maybe it won't do it rainbow, but it will, it will definitely be glass uh, going across. I just feel like the rainbow bridge at the top is kind of like the thing. You don't want to double up on that. Um. Okay. What's on top there? Oh, an egg, a chicken. A chicken and an egg. We need glowstone, we need block of quartz. It's good. We actually do have quite a lot. Take this glass. Uh, the rest of the stuff can stay in there for now. She will take the trees. Go put them away. Now I wanted to try out this new scaffolding thing. Um, I don't really know how you make it, so it's got to be wood, and I know there's string involved uh, as well. So I'm going to have a look to see uh, if it's any good. Yeah, we, that, so that's all the nether quartz we've got, that's fine. Uh, let's put the glass back in there for now. Let's put the uh, plants in here. Trees go in the wood section. They can go in there. Bit of beef, bit of boof. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's see actually. So I know it's a new thing, I've never used it. So I've got absolutely no idea what it is, how you use it, but it sounds like it would be useful if we're trying to build up a little bit. Quartz bricks, oh wow, they're lush. Quartz pillar. I would like to redo the tower in quartz bricks. Although I'm not going to do that right now, but I would like to at some point. I think that would look awesome. Chisel quartz blocks, now that's nice. Uh, can we show craftable? Let me um, Google this. Uh, scaffolding. Minecraft. Okay. Looks interesting. build it what's the recipe <laughs> it doesn't tell me uh, obtaining uh, oh oh it's bamboo and string you haven't got any bamboo well now I feel like I want to go out and find some bamboo okay okay let's go on a little adventure shall we let's put our stuff away uh, wood Run out of stuff in my nether chest, so I'm just going to pop this in here for now. Uh, put the string away. Sticks. Gates and fences. I'm going to switch up my armor actually because we're not going to the nether. Yeah, we'll use the iron stuff, I think. Get. I'll cook up this B 
beef and chicken and rabbit. We'll take that with us. Uh, I've got a lot of arrows. I'm not too worried about that. Need a new sword. Uh, I think I had a diamond one, didn't I? Yeah. Should we enchant it? See what we get. Then we'll sleep and then we'll uh, head out. We're not going to get a lot from this, but you never know. Sharpness, not back. We'll go for sharpness on it. So it's a little bit, a little bit better. We can always make another one. We've got enough diamonds. It's the money bag diamond boy here. We'll take a stack. Uh, no, we'll take 16 wood just in case we need to. No, we'll take a stack just in case we need to build up or anything at night. Um, just actually what I'll do with that. Yeah, I wanted to expand that, but I can't. I have to, might have to redesign that. But anyway, um, yeah, we're going to go for a wander. Uh, I don't know which way I'm going to go, but what we do want to do is I do want to just get my coordinates down so that... Um, I don't get too lost. Okay, so I've taken uh, a uh, photo of that. Uh, let's go to sleep. And then we're going to go on a little, little adventure. A bit unprompted, but what the hay? What the hay? Cooked rabbit, steak, cooked chicken. We've got three bread, 26 of them. Should be fine. We'll take some coal just in case we need to. We'll take a little bit of uh, cobble. In case we need to build a furnace. Take a stack of cobble. And let's go. Oh, torches. Uh... There we go. A little bit of coal. A few more torches. We're fine. Okay, which way are we going to go? We're going to go ahead that way. Sod it. Let's go past that village and straight on. I don't think we've done it before. Is it Endermen? Oh, we did fall damage there. Yeah. We're on the quest for bamboo. <laughs> I'm going to laugh if we find one like just the other side of that village and like, oh. Okay, um, embarrassing. I mean, one of the things I do love doing in Minecraft is just exploring. Um, it's been really interesting playing uh, Terraria um, along with uh, Minecraft because Terraria is kind of, I feel like it has more depth than Minecraft, but less width, if that makes sense. So what I mean by that is Terraria is a very, um, what's, oh, that's wheat. Um, there's loads of like weapons and armors and loads of different ores and loads of different enemies and bosses and all this type of stuff going on in the game. Um, loads of different like underground like biome things, above ground. There's lots of stuff going on in the game. Um, which is really cool. But there isn't the mass kind of exploration thing that you kind of get in Minecraft. Whereas, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. And, um, you know, Minecraft is, you know, once you get your, your diamond, or I, I mean, I know there's the, the kind of like the nether ore now, which is something with uh, diamond or whatever it is, a bit better. But there's, you, you can get to the highest level in Minecraft pretty quickly but there's always lots of interesting things kind of coming about in terraria lots of like individual legendary weapons and armors and things like that and 
active and stuff. There's actually a uh, village off that way. So we will head that way. Um, which I think is really cool. Uh, both games, you know, because Terraria has been called you know, 2D Minecraft, which is really unfair, I think, and quite uh, patronising to it because it's got a lot going on. If anything, Minecraft is 3D Terraria. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a huge, huge amount of content in uh, Terraria. Like, it's really a uh, very um, underrated game, I, th I think, personally. Um, and Minecraft, I think, is not underrated because people often think it's you know one of the greatest games ever, which I don't disagree with. Um, but sometimes it does get a little bit more... Like, there isn't a huge amount of depth... I think it's grown in the last few years. Um, hello, guys. Hi, hi, hello. I should have brought some emerald, shouldn't I, just in case? Um, yeah, what, well, just in case? We'll take a couple of bales, they won't mind. They're good guys. Um, what's this thing? Oh, it's a planter, okay. Yeah, there's been, there's been a lot of work on Minecraft since it's been taken over by uh, Microsoft. Um, but before that, I think the updates were very slow and they would really only introduce a couple of bits of bobs here and there. I think since Microsoft come in, they have, like, there has been, like, more content in the game uh, than, uh, like, in, in the, the kind of the snapshots and the actual updates. Like, they've been much bigger content drops, I think, than there ever was before then. Um, probably except for the initial phases of, of Minecraft. But um, that's kind of to be expected. I think now I feel Minecraft has it's definitely changed as a game in terms of uh, not just its kind of player base, but um, the way people play it now. Like before, and it is still to a certain extent now, but I feel like before the Microsoft kind of drop, Minecraft was a bit kind of... Um, it was a bit purer, I think, in what it was. Uh, and it was a bit more about the... I was just see, see what looks like a couple of towers over there. I was interested. But uh, I don't think it is anything. I'm not sure. It doesn't look... We're going to head that way anyway. But what we want, I guess, is a jungle, right, for the um, bamboo. But, um, yeah, what I mean by that is, like, Minecraft was this kind of block-building game. And... Uh, you it had very kind of it still does to a certain extent but it had very light kind of RPG elements to it very very light story elements to it it, it was primarily a kind of building game um, which had these things kind of in it now I feel like they're moving more towards making it into an actual RPG because they have the kind of mechanics down of the the building and stuff like that that's in there, and now what I feel like they're doing is adding the kind of RPG stuff to it, the exploration. There's obviously you know new blocks coming and stuff like that for building and things like that, and it always will be a building game. But uh, there does feel like there's a shift in the direction the game's going, uh, which like I don't think is a bad thing um, at all. Um, Minecraft needed a bit of a, a a shift and a change, I think, personally. Um, you know, just to, because I feel like the updates were like, maybe it's harsh to say before Microsoft, but I feel like for a long period of time, there was uh, just this thing where it would be like, okay, hey, we've updated it, we've added in this new tree. <laughs> and you'd be like, oh, great, let's go find this new tree. Or, hey, we've put, cats in the game oh great let's go find cats and now i feel like it's a bit more like hey we've just added like all this incredible stuff in the nether go check it out or we've just added all these new animals and things like that this whole new biome and things like that and i don't feel like maybe there's just more hype around it now i don't know but i, I didn't feel like that was a necessarily a thing that uh, was happening as much right so we need to build a boot Get our, uh, I had a feeling this would happen, which is why I bought the wood as well. Uh, what's a boat? That? Yeah. God, I'm good. 
God, I am good. Actually, should have built a second one just in case. Um, we can have a look actually for some underwater stuff as well around here. It's not something I probably will do today, but if there's something fairly nearby, uh, I would be interested in coming back for it. There's dolphins. I haven't seen dolphins before. They're cute. Uh, and you know, all the underwater stuff that they added as well um, on there. Just felt like much bigger content drops than we were getting before. Um, I, I don't know if that was because they suddenly had more resources from the Microsoft takeover or they were purposely kind of holding things back a little bit. There's a, a sunken ship down there which could have some treasure. Shall we have a look? Okay. Usually. Oh shit. There's a lot less air than you figure, isn't there? So you use like um, torches or something to get air, don't you? Oh, doesn't work anymore. Ooh, yeah. I know, I know. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Uh, where the hell am I? Okay, we've got to make it back. we got to make it back. Uh, I need that. And I need to go make a boat. And hopefully we can find where we just were, because that was the dumbest thing I've ever done. It wasn't the dumbest thing, actually. That creeper thing last time was definitely the dumbest. Uh, and it's getting dark as well. I don't know if we can make it back uh, in time. We were quite far out. It was really dumb. I think I was I was definitely into area mode of like, we have way loads of time for air. And we don't. <laughs> um... But yeah, I think I was talking about the differences between like Minecraft and Terraria, and uh, it's definitely a, uh, a games which I, I wouldn't even necessarily say. That. I think people are always like, oh well, if you like Minecraft, you'll love Terraria, and I don't think that's necessarily true. So I think there's very different things going on in those games. But um, hello, Mr. Endyman. I have no beef with you, please, sir. Please. We've got to make it through this desert at night without dying. With no armour. No weapons. And fast running out of food as well. And a creeper. So we headed over that way. I think if we head straight, because we headed over that way, then we cut back across. Um, so I think if we kind of head fairly straight, head around here just for the sake of uh, this. I can't really run right now. So hopefully that's not a problem. Could be a problem. <laughs> um, God, what an idiot! What was I saying anyway? Yeah. So I don't think it's necessarily a case of like, oh well, if you like uh, Minecraft, you'll love Terraria. I think that's a bit simplistic. Um, 
there are different things going on in the games uh, without a doubt but generally yeah if you like the exploration the crafting the mining uh the you know building of your home a bit and that kind of thing then there is a, a definite elements obviously um as to uh whether you like uh or what you like about the games i guess yep we're getting shot at i am considering putting it on peaceful i don't think that would be necessarily a uh cheat because I mean, it is cheap, but <laughs> I do need to get this stuff, though. Do, 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 do. We've only got, you know, five minutes. Now, this is... Don't you think this... Uh, is, was this where we kicked off from? I think it was, actually. So let's go. Do, 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 do. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, we went out through this way. Pretty sure, like, we made our little thing over there and then headed out here. If we do find this, it'll be a miracle. Absolute miracle. Um... But I am thoroughly enjoying Terraria. Really, really enjoying it. And obviously, I always enjoy Minecraft. Like, Minecraft's just a... It's just the uh, the OG, the GOAT, as it were. And uh, it's super exciting to think that they're... What they're going to be adding, you know. And the, uh, you know, people might disagree with me. I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who are like, Original Minecraft. But uh, I think that's it there. That looks like a lot of our stuff. Um, but I believe that Microsoft has never been better. Um, well, that's probably true about Microsoft, but I believe that like um, Minecraft has never been better than it is right now. Right, so we also don't want to die getting all our stuff back. Come on. We can make it, we can make it, we can make it, we can make it. Oh shit, that's not it. I thought that was it. <gasps> that's just some stuff going underwater. Oh no. That's not it, is it? Oh poop. I think we went a bit too far. I don't know if we're going to make it. I've just lost all of that. Oh, there's some turtles there. Huh? Cool. Uh, in reality, all we lost, really, that will annoy me, is the um, uh, diamond sword that I made. But it's a couple of it's yeah, a couple of diamonds. It's not going to kill me. Um, I don't know where. I oh, there it is. There it is, there it is. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <gasps> Are we going to make it? Oh my god. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Can you actually believe this? I can't believe this. Of course, my diamond pickaxe, that would have been a bit annoying. Yay, yeah, dolphins jumping out of the water there. Cheering me on. I feel you. Oh my god, this is so good. Whew. So you definitely need like some sort of like aqua affinity. Um, why can't we can we not access our inventory in the water? I guess. Uh, there we go. Uh, 
Ooh, blast protection three, thorns three. Okay, interesting. We'll save it for now. Uh, just pick up the last of the stuff. Ooh. Are we full? No, not quite. Another hat though. Uh, get rid of the sugar cane. Is this oh that's my stakes I need them uh, that iron saw can go don't need you you're nearly dead stakes sweet okay incredible incredible uh Okay, let's explore this ocean a little bit because I feel like there's a lot of stuff under here that we haven't done. And yes, I know, like, don't die, you idiots. Uh, but uh, I am intrigued by the, what's, you know, kind of lighting up here and what's here. I think it's like coral and stuff, isn't it? That's not a jungle in front of us, but it is quite a heavily forested area. Oh, that's the, um... Hang on. Oh, well, there's bricks here. What is this stuff? I can't get it because I'm airing. I'm out of air. Uh, not out of air, but I'm out of um, inventory space. Uh, oh, God, I don't even know what to chuck. There you go, chuck that. Yeah, this stuff is... Um, Oh shit, it's happened again. There's a chest down there as well. Just notice that. <laughs> okay. There's nothing in the chest. Okay, what do we want that we don't want? Suspicious stew, paper we don't need, and more suspicious stew. Let's go get some air. Okay. Oh, that was the brick we wanted. I don't know what this stuff was. Why are we going down? Does that stuff pull you down? Oh, interesting. That's interesting. Uh, what is it? Magma block, yeah. I just want to test this because I think it pulls you down. Yeah, it does. Ooh, fascinating. Okay. That's very interesting to know. Kind of drags you in. Now I think there was some coral over here which looks very pretty actually. There's definitely that over there as well. Yeah, the water's like really interesting to um, kind of uh, have a look around, isn't it? Fascinating. We'll uh, rock up on shore as well obviously and uh, have a look around there for my bamboo. Don't know if it'd be in a swampy area. Can have a look. Ooh, very pretty, isn't it? Uh, let's. Uh... Ooh, interesting fishes. Okay, it dies when you pick it. That's interesting. Yeah, we don't want that. We definitely won't leave it. We definitely will leave it, sorry. But um, that's interesting. It, it kind of dies when you take it out of the water or when you break it. Uh, why have my um, arms, like, disappeared? I can't now get into... Hang on. There we go. Okay. As it loads in. There we go. Uh, right, wasn't there some sort of uh, shipwreck or something back here? There was. 
something here that's lit up. Hmm. Let's make sure we've got enough space for stuff. I don't think we want the magma block, to be honest. I can get those in the nether, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh, we can get rid of as well. Uh, just looking, just in case I want to pick something up. Okay, it's like a little sandstone thing, isn't it? A bit of granite. No chest there. Luckily, it's not that deep, actually. Just looking to see if there's any chests around here. Just, I, I like this personally, like the little structures. Even if they contain nothing, they just really add to the world. Okay. But we do definitely need one of those, like, Aqua Affinity... Uh, um, helmets. Is this bamboo? Well, no, sugar cane, right? Yeah, sugar cane. Okay. We've made landfall on a new land. Which looks suspiciously like the last land <laughs> that we were on. Berries. Might as well eat them. Hang on. I didn't put my legs on. We've got blast protection, thorns, projectile protection. Oh, that's already projectile protection, so... Quite useful, though. I'll take those back, and I'm sure we'll get some use out of them. Um, but I think what we'll actually do, to be fair, is... Uh, might finish up uh, the episode here. I think we've done quite a lot today. Um, I'll get this uploaded, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll do some more exploring uh, next time, and uh, in our quest for bamboo. But till then, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.